So, good evening and welcome to Tell Africans. Merci for having me here. Thank you, thank you. Today we're here because we want to talk about your business. And uh, I understand that your business is about, uh, inter you're doing some kind of international business. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm exporting goods yeah. for people who want to export their goods. I'm uh, shipping containers. Okay, do you also import? No. Okay. That's something maybe in a later step. That okay. one is a little bit more complicated. But for the export one, I'm doing that. That's okay. why my company is called Easy Export. Okay. I found this company in October 2017, so it's okay. relatively new. Um, but I have experience in shipping containers since 2010. I don't do it for other people, but for myself. And now I want to give this service to other people. So if people want to export container to wherever, Gambia, Senegal, Guinea, Mogadishu, or even Latin America, or everywhere in Asia, okay. They can just quote the request with me, I give them the price and yeah, if they like it, they can book with me. So how do you like the business? I just like the business because yeah, it's interesting in it to organize transport, you get to know people from all, all corners of the world, mm -hmm. you have this intercultural um, uh, connection, uh, which I really like. I'm interested in different cultures. I like to work together with people from all over the world. My business is located here in Bern. Switzerland. Yeah, here in yeah. Switzerland. And you've been doing this business since October 2017. Exactly. Uh, what are the kind of problems you face every day when trying to do your business? Also, like uh, if I do a container, you always have to put look at the schedule because they are not only one transport company, I have different partners. So okay. in one transport, if I con if I transport one container, let's take an example from Bern to Lagos, it will be three different parts, from Bern to Basel, from Basel to Antwerp, and from Antwerp to Lagos. Okay. So it's like three different companies are working together. I'm just the center to coordinate everything and to make sure the companies also talk together and organize the container that it reach where it should reach. And yeah, problems are, yeah, maybe there was a small um, storm, second storm, storm, like storm. windy, it yeah. was very windy yeah. and then the train couldn't drive and the container was uh, three, four days longer than expected in Antwerp. But yeah, these are just minor problems, real big problems. I have an insurance who covers it up, so okay. I don't really need to worry much. So people, most of you are people like Africans mm -hmm. that used to send containers. Mm -hmm. What kind of problems do you have with them, mostly? Me with them so far not, thank you. Okay. <laughs> but uh, they're having sometimes problems to organize their transport in a way that when the thing reach down there, they still have enough money for the customs and take the container out. Okay. If they don't have the money and the container stay in place, it's a problem for them, not for me. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so you are the director of uh, Easy Export. Yeah. And you, your, your business is to export containers to Africa to, and everywhere in the world. Everywhere. Asia, Latin America, America, anywhere you want me to send, I'll send. And your business is relatively young. Mm -hmm. What is your, your your goal? What is your new project? What are you trying to do right now? Uh, right now, I'm trying to export cars, not okay. only containers, but also okay. motor cargo. Okay. Like, because I see many people, it's very costly to send a container. You have to get a capital of minimum 12,000 francs. To send you, container? Yeah, with okay. everything, with the fee, with the content, with the customs. Car? To send a car is going to be around thousand to two thousand five hundred depending okay. where you send. Okay. So it's cheaper. So this is just a spotting. So when when the container gets to Nigeria mm -hmm. for example, yeah. Do I have to pay again the yes. customs? Then? That's the client have to pay it himself. Okay. That's not so included in okay. the fee. In the fee is included just the transport okay. and we do the declaration. We mm -hmm. do the custom declaration what even in Nigeria. The, what do you mean by declaration? Like for example if you are sending cars they will request you the chassis numbers and okay. the kilos, how many kilos the car empty has and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is like you have to fill out some formulas for the export fee yeah, in, okay. in Switzerland. And then you have to also declare the import. Like if I send to Nigeria, I will have to declare it in a way Nigeria wants it. Okay. If I send it to Gambia, I will have to declare it in a way Gambians want it. So that's a big 
thing you really have to concentrate and to know this country requests that, this country requests that. Okay. But the custom fees, I fill it out for you, but after you pay the fees yourself. Okay. So yeah. normally how much do, how much is the range you have seen in, in dollars? Yeah, to Nigeria is probably between four thousand and five thousand five hundred depends. Okay. But the customs I don't know because I never ask my clients how much they actually pay down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what would you like people to know, people in Switzerland, that you think that they are your stakeholders, they can send containers or get cars through your... Yeah, your I would just uh, love to address everybody who is sending containers back home. Um, maybe I can give you a better price than you actually have now. Okay. So just request a quote with me and then I can give you a price and we can see whether maybe we can become business partners. Okay, well, what, what do you think is special about your business? Um, I'm always available. I have okay. my uh, phone, my, my business phone always with me and I have, I check my emails every time. Mm -hmm. So even weekends you can call me, you can get me any time you want and when it's urgent. Mm -hmm. And I can just check whether there is a free container for the time you need it so I can send you the price and if you like it, I will send you a container. It's very simple, it's yes. really simple. And to just uh, request a quote doesn't cost you nothing. It doesn't cost you something if you call me or write me an email to ask a price. Yeah. This so as a, so as, as a young entrepreneur, what would you like to tell other interesting entrepreneurs? People who like to be entrepreneurs and they, they are having some problems with finance or they don't know where to start from. What, what would you offer them? Um, I will tell them the same thing that I always tell myself. I hear this so many times. People tell me, you cannot do that. If you want to make a business, just work hard. If you don't have the capital, don't be too arrogant. Go and clean toilets. <laughs> okay. Or do anything. Even me, I was cleaning toilets. Although I have a Bachelor of Law and I was doing this next to my studies. So if you don't be too arrogant to get your hands dirty, you're going to make it. Good, thank you very much. Let's look at the camera and say, tell Africans. Tell, tell Africans. Africans. Thank you.